Hey, I want to tell you something that's going to completely, totally knock your socks off. Oh, this is the Daily Overpass. My name's Eric. I make apps. Today, I want to talk about the greatest app idea in the world. Okay, let me start by thanking you for taking this time to meet with me today. But to be honest with you, after I tell you what I'm about to tell you, I think you're going to be the one thanking me, right? So what I want to discuss with you today is a business opportunity that I think is going to make both of us really, really wealthy, right? So, but first, I mean, before, before I talk about it any further, I'm going to need you to sign this uh, document here. It's called a uh, non-disclosure agreement. So basically what it says is that everything we talk about, oh, oh, you know what it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to need you to sign that before I can say anything further. Oh. Yeah, no, no, don't worry. No, dear, dude, dude, once I tell you what I'm about to tell you, you're going to understand why we need this in place. No, no, don't worry about that. Yeah, so, cool. All right, good. Cool, all right, great, thank you. So, get ready, right? Your life, your life is about to change, right? So, the other day I'm in the airport, right? And I see these little kiosk things all over the place saying, rate your experience. And there's like buttons like happy face, sad face, you know, medium face, all this kind of stuff. And these things are all over the airport. And then I start thinking, you know what? They're starting to ask our opinions everywhere now because there's so much stuff. We, you know, we need ratings and reviews everywhere. Even if I go to a shop, there's no reviews. So I don't know if anything's good or bad or whatever, right? And every time I buy something on Amazon, every time I uh, buy something online, every time I download an app, every time I do anything, you know, they're asking me, you know, what do you think of it? Rate your experience, right? So last night I'm in the shower and I'm thinking, you know, if only there was a way to do that in real life, right? So you see, you meet people all the time, right? So you pass them on the street, you see them in the shop, and you don't, you don't know if they're a good guy or a bad guy unless you've actually got to know them, which takes a long time. So I'm thinking, stay with me here. What if there was a way to rate normal people in real life, right? And I thought, how could we do something like that? And then I thought, bam, that's an app idea. And then the more I thought about it, I thought, this could be huge. So first thing I did was I checked to see if that app idea already exists. I checked, I checked on the app store. I checked on Google Play. I spent five, 10 minutes checking and I couldn't find anything like this out there, right? So, and then I went and asked all my friends. I asked, you know, I asked like at least five of my friends, what do you think of this idea? And they all said, yeah, it's good, right? So I'm thinking, you know, Five out of five, that's 100% approval rating, right? I'm 100%, I mean, this is, this is huge, right? So, you know, and I, the more I started thinking about it, I, I, I went back and I started sketching down some ideas and I thought, what should, a name, we need a name, right? So I thought, Raider. Raider is nice and short, R-A-T-E-R, -E but then I thought, oh, you know what? Nobody calls it just a name, you gotta misspell it somehow. So, you know, like Google has the two O's and all this stuff and I thought, Instead of the two O's, we'll have two T's, right? Yeah, huh? I know, I know this is, I mean, this just comes to me, right? I mean, this, I'm just, I, I don't know what it was. It was just, you know, these ideas flowing through me. I mean, there are higher powers at work here. So I went and I sketched down an idea. I sketched down what the app would look like. Boom, right? So let's say you're walking down the street and you help an old lady across the street and you say, excuse me, old lady, could you please leave me a review? And she'll go, yes, Sunny, whatever. And she'll go, bam, and she'll give me five stars. Or let's say there's a guy who's being kind of an asshole, right? And he steps on your foot and you go, hey, give me your phone, right? And he takes it out and he opens up the Raider app and I go, bam, one star, right? And then you're meeting other people, like you go into a job interview or you're going on a date and they say, hey, what kind of person are you? Just take the phone out saying, it's 3.5 rating, but one guy was really a jerk or whatever, right? And then later, you know, and then, you know, it becomes rating for real life, right? And you, you can use it with your kids. If your kids are acting up, one star for today, five stars today. You did really well on that play or whatever, right? So I'm just thinking this is, I mean, this is huge, right? So, but I'm not a technical person, right? I don't understand how all the technical stuff does, all that kind of stuff. I've always been more of a visionary, right? I'm a big picture kind of guy. So I need someone like you, right? So, so this is the reason why I asked to meet with you, right? And this is one of the reasons why I chose you to share this idea with, right? So, you know, you and I, you seem like a pretty decent, decent person, right? I think, you know, so I, I was thinking about it and I was thinking, you know, what would a normal person give uh, as a, percentage of a company, 
10%, 15%. I thought, no, you know what? We'll maybe be generous here, right? So my proposal to you here is that if you build this application for me, right, and I handle all the business types of stuff, we're basically a partnership, right, I will give you 20% of the business. What? Why 20%? Eight, well, yeah, 80% might seem like a lot, but I mean, you got to understand, it was my idea. I mean, it was, if it was your idea, you'd be getting 80%, but you know, that's you know, just the way it is. So, so, what do you think? You win? Sorry, what, is, what does that mean? What does monetize? Oh, how much money will, how will it make money? Oh, okay, yeah, see, I, I'm not sure. This is one of those technical things I'm going to need you to handle. So, as my technical partner, as my lead technical guy, uh, you know, I'm going to need you to come up with the solutions for that. But there's a few things. I don't want to have ads in this, this application, right? No ads. And I don't like those purchase things. And the app must be free. But other than that, I don't mind how you make money from it, how we make money from it. You just come up with some different solutions. But to be honest with you, I mean, when Google sees this, they're going to buy it, right? I mean, just, just hands down. There's no way. Target market. Oh, that's the beauty of this. The target market of this is everyone, right? Everyone who has a smartphone, they're our target market, right? We don't even need to, we don't even need to segment it. It's just, I mean, everyone, once you see your friends have it, you're going to download it. I mean, it's, I mean, it's brilliant. I mean, you know, I can't get over myself sometimes. Marketing. I don't think we need a marketing budget. You know, this is the beauty of this is that this thing is going to market itself. Like I said, once, once, once you see your friends have it, you're going to download it too. I mean, it's just, you know, Oh, don't worry. Don't worry about the marketing side of things. That's the bit that I'm, I'm going to take care of the marketing. You just worry about the technical, you know, all the code and stuff like that that you, that you like to do. You know, go to your computer and do all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll handle all that, that kind of stuff. iPhone or Android? I would say I definitely go iPhone, right? I, I, all five of my friends, you know, they, they all have iPhones. I'm sure there are people out there with Androids, but, uh, you know, we could do that after. Let's do, let's do iPhone. Let's focus on iPhone. And then later on, if there's time, we'll do Android. Yeah, I think that would be good. You're going to have to charge me. No, no, no. You didn't understand, right? I'm going to give you 20% of this company, right? So this, this is easy easily going to make 10 million. I mean, if we, if we try to be really conservative about it, this thing will easily make $10 million, right? So 20%, what's 20% of 10 million? That's $2 million. Are you saying this thing can't be built with $2 million? I mean, come on, really? Sorry, you, you're not interested. <laughs> you're not, you're not interested. Well, I'm, I'm surprised. I, I mean, I'm really, I was not expecting that. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, I, I guess everyone has to have their, you know, everybody has to make mistakes in life. I mean, uh, you know, I, I couldn't see turning down two million dollars. Oh man. Woo. Well, um, I just uh, look. I just hope you're not gonna, you know, grow to regret this later. You know, um, you know, uh, when you see, you know, when we we see all the press, when you see me on the cover of the newspapers and all that kind of stuff. You know, I hope you're not. Um, I hope you're not kicking yourself. But um, no, I guess you know everybody's got their own their own thing. So you know, uh, it's cool. Uh, I guess. Well, you know. <laughs> hey, good luck to you, right? Whatever you end up doing, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you couldn't make this journey with me. But uh, anyway, it's been nice, nice meeting with you. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.